I'd just like to sum it up. Um, I'm running for the board to be a role model with my actions, words, and deeds. And I want to keep uh, the tradition of my kids and other kids graduating as a dragon uh, alive. And I want them to have pride in their school. Um, I just want to say thank you once again for everybody and uh, the hard work that they did tonight in putting this together. Uh, thank you for you guys that have showed up tonight to, uh, and given up the Vikings game for, you know, to be able to be here. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to say is uh, Pine City Public Schools have served our family very well. I have two boys that graduated um, and then went on to serve in the, and are serving in the military. And I've got one daughter that graduated last year and is now up at UMD. Um, the Pine City Schools have always done an excellent job and, and have always you know, shown themselves to be um, excellent in everything they do. I, do, I want to continue, I want to be on the board to continue that, um, that legacy um, for, the, uh, for the people of the community. Um, as, some, as a business owner, I deal with budgets every day. In, um, in, in 2005, when they did a development over in, Bland, over in Bram, um, you know, I may not have, I may have been the one writing the checks, but I, um, but I, ne I ne was not necessarily um, the one in the room with the, the best ideas, and um, and it gave me the opportunity to listen and to do what um, the right things um, to make it a, a good development. Um, we need to have the ability to be able to listen to other people in the room and then to be able to, uh, you know, translate that into good policy. Thank you. Uh, I just want to let you know I'm very proud to be a board member, and and it's been a fantastic 17 years, whether I get in and, again or not, because uh, from listening to everybody here, it's going to be a tough one, and it's good, because they all have wonderful ideas, and I ask all of you to get out and vote in November, all right? And then let's go to the game. <laughs> I would be very pleased to serve our community as a member of the Board of Education and to help maintain the proud tradition that we have and work um, with staff, parents, community students collectively into the future because there will be many challenges ahead. However, if I do not get elected, I also want to say that I will still continue to support our school system and do anything as a volunteer within my power to um, help move us along. It's, it's been a delight to have the affiliation with the school district for all these years. Yeah, I think uh, those who put this together, it, uh, it makes us all better candidates. Uh, I studied up a little bit on a few things, but uh, uh, and it's great to have all this interest uh, in candidates, but you have a choice. I think you've got a wide range of people to choose from. Uh, everyone's a good candidate, I think. And so, uh, I appreciate having this opportunity. I appreciate uh, you coming and, and listening. It probably wasn't real exciting, but uh, it, it is important, and it just shows that we do have great schools. And I didn't I didn't go to school here, but uh, I believe Green uh, it's, it's, it's a tremendous community, tremendous schools, and um, so I hope I get the opportunity to serve in this capacity in the board. But if I don't, I will absolutely support those that are elected. I'd just like to thank you also. I've really found a home here in Pine City. Um, I empathize with you guys. Uh, this is going to be a tough decision. I'd vote for like all 11 of these people too. Um, I found myself thinking the whole time up here, who would I vote for? <laughs> um, let it be known that if I am elected, I'll just try to maintain uh, the superior level of education that has been a tradition here. Um, and I'll keep walking the sidelines of the Dragon football field. So thanks. So I'm just a mom <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, who has an interest in uh, her kids' education. And I've been in the school district. I went to school here. My parents went to school here. And um, I've had my challenges. And I think that as a learning experience, um, particularly with this, this school district, seeing it from the other side is important. Um, and seeing why decisions are made and why they're impactful. And I'm willing to learn that. And exposed to that. Um, everybody here, obviously, you know, we all, everybody has their opinions and, and everyone are great candidates here and um, I agree. I think it would be exceedingly difficult at this point just because everyone um, has really great vested interest in our school board and uh, 
I appreciate the time, the opportunity, and the people that put this together. Whoever said that this might not have been as exciting of a night, uh, it's probably more exciting than watching the Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> Read another, no one's going to argue. <laughs> so I paid somebody to give me about 10 minutes, Steve. <laughs> um, you could have taped it. <clears throat> Carrie, I want to say that you're not just a mom. Um, it's the moms and the dads that, that really make the difference for our schools. And uh, I think one of the candidates alluded to something like that in a questionnaire that um, a real challenge that we have uh, is some of the breakdown we see in our culture. And I know I hear a lot about some of the troubled kids and the things they go home to and things like that. So those of you who are here who show this interest, I know it's because you're people who have a good interest in the kids and you're probably good moms and dads. And that's really the backbone of it. And that's really why I serve on this board is, is to make sure that those interests are served and we can do the best we can do uh, for the kids of this community. Yes, I want to thank everybody for coming tonight, and especially the support of uh, the uh, uh, newspaper and uh, the Chamber of Commerce and Dr. Musgrove and the uh, Student Senate from uh, the uh, Pine City Tech. Uh, you may wonder why a, a, a grandparent that has no children going to uh, any of the Pine City schools would be interested in running for the school board. Well, I, I really feel like I've spent so much time uh, getting an education. Originally, I started out to be a doctor and uh, ended up uh, teaching and really enjoying teaching. And uh, I felt like there were some things I could share that would be useful. There are kids from our uh, local church, the Sunday school, that I follow in the newspapers, thanks to the Pine City Pioneer and Mike Gaynor. And I just want to thank you very much. In my little over a year of being on the board, when I meet other board members, in other districts, my first question is, what is the number one challenge facing in your school district? And we have a lot of privilege here. Um, we deal with very little um, that other school districts are dealing with. Budgetary considerations, um, different, there are so many different issues that we could be facing right now, and we're in a really good position. And I'd really like to remain on the board um, and be making those decisions that keep us in a good position so that we aren't facing some of the things that other school boards are facing right now. Um, I'm in it for my kids, I'm in it for all of our kids, really. And um, thank you for coming out tonight and listening to all of us. Well, it's no secret. I love Pine City. And I understand that our school district is one of, our school itself is one of the most important parts of our community. And I would <clears throat> appreciate being able to work on the school board for one of our city's largest employers and where our community's future is shaped at Pine City Schools. My family has been a part of the Pine City tradition for generations. My grandpa attended school here. My mom graduated from here. I won't say what year. <laughs> and I have three students who are attending Pine City schools right now. Uh, one, senior, one senior I'm a guardian for, a 10th grader I mentor, and my nephew. And I would really appreciate the opportunity to help serve our district. And I ask you for your vote on November 5th. Thank you. Thank you. Audience, let's express our appreciation for them. Candidates, thank you for your willingness to serve, your willingness to put yourself on the line here. I'm going to ask the question. I really appreciate your candor and your participation.